The Organization of Eastern Caribbean States, the OECS, presents immense opportunities for growth and prosperity within the archipelago. The composite size of the OECS with full and associate members on the basis of territory, population and economy is as follows. The total land area is about 2,282 square miles. The total population, about 1.5 million people with a large youth demographic. And a total nominal gross domestic product of US $25 billion. Each territory is a functioning democracy with high scores globally for political, civic and economic freedoms. The archipelago is a zone of peace for which the Caribbean is internationally recognized. The OECS as an international organization possesses the material, institutional and intellectual resources and interconnectedness that allows big businesses to operate across the national and linguistic borders of our region. The Treaty of Bastère was signed on June 18, 1981 to promote cooperation and unity. Seven countries signed on. The revised Treaty of Bastère replaced the 1981 Treaty, expanding the OECS mandate by creating an economic union for the seven protocol member states. The revised Treaty was signed on June 18, 2010. All citizens of the Protocol Member States enjoy indefinite stay, access to jobs and social services in the Economic Union. The OECS Eastern Caribbean Currency Union is one of four monetary unions in the world. The Eastern Caribbean dollar is the strongest currency in the Caribbean region. The OECS Telecommunications Reform Project in 1998 was designed to introduce pro-competitive reforms in the region. Two years later, the project would evolve into the Eastern Caribbean Telecommunications Authority or ECTEL, the regional regulatory body for the organization of Eastern Caribbean states. At an unprecedented moment in global history, the OECS's swift response to the novel coronavirus pandemic mitigated its impact on member states. The quick, decisive and bold actions in critical sectors are captured in the peer-reviewed academic paper COVID-19 and Beyond Impact Assessments and Responses. The paper also recognizes that the post-COVID-19 future for the OECS involves taking full advantage of the opportunities in the disruptions and creating a different development paradigm. Since its implementation in 1986, the OECS Pharmaceutical Procurement Service has been able to reduce the market cost of medicines in the region by 20%, and in doing so, collectively save regional governments an average of US $4 million a year. When the COVID-19 pandemic found its way to the region in 2020, the mandate of PPS increased from pool procurement of medicine for the OECS to pool procurement of medical equipment and supplies for the Caribbean community, CARICOM. The procurement mandate continues to evolve and the intention is to move to pool procurement in other sectors. The Sustainable Development Movement Summit is being produced in support of the Sustainable Development Goals, the SDGs, and will drive progressive movement towards achieving 12 of the 17 SDGs. SDM 2020 creates an exciting space where senior government officials, industry and sector leaders, global entrepreneurs and civil society converge over two days to network, experience real transformation and chime in on the exchange of thoughts, best practices, untold stories and strategies for sustainable growth and development within the Caribbean. The Caribbean Sea is the water of our unification. The principle of shared space provides the platform on which the OECS can leverage the wealth, 
diversity and uniqueness of its character to forge stronger cultural and business alliances. Neither land nor sea barriers can prevent external shocks. Only strong mechanisms of collaboration and joint action can protect us from external vulnerabilities. And this is what a partnership with the OECS facilitates. The OECS, we are innovators. We are change leaders. We are visionaries.